All right, guys, here is our part one to Great is Thy Faithfulness. Okay, and of course, as always, part two and part three are on my website, webpianoteacher.com. You can also find me on Facebook. Just uh, type in in the, in the address box on your computer, um, facebook.com slash web piano teacher and uh, you'll find me on Facebook <laughs> but here's the free part one to this and uh, I try to make these where they sound good but they're not too hard okay I don't want to make them too difficult but I want them to make them uh, you know where they sound good so uh, it's kind of a little a balance there but let's start with right hand on an A right next to the middle C and then a D and an F sharp on the top now the F sharp is the melody note Great is thy faithfulness. So we want to try to bring that out. Try to voice that F sharp. And the same for all those top notes. It's going to make your playing sound a lot better, okay? So uh, work on doing that. It's just a little more pressure on the fingertip of that note. Okay? So uh, we have A, D, F sharp once. And that takes a long time to get used to. If you can't do that right away, you're not alone. I'm I remember having trouble myself uh, being younger trying to voice the melody note. But I'll just put a straight line down here because we're just going to play the same exact chord. I like to not have things too cluttered. So play that then play it again. Here we're going to change the middle note to a C sharp. But we're going to keep the A and the F sharp. So great is thy and then faithful. Here we're going to have B, D, and F sharp together. Okay, and then just a single E here, and then we're going to play that E again, but add a D and a B below that, okay? Okay. Ba, ba, ba. Now on the left hand we have D down here, here's middle C, here's the next C, this is the D that we want, then we're going to go up to A, and then up to F sharp. Now here's something else that you may not be able to reach, I can reach it because I have a freakishly long hand, but uh, if you can't reach it, that's fine. Most people can't. Just play a D and then an A and then rotate. Rotate your wrist to get that F sharp. See how I leave the D there? Leave it alone and go up. Because the pedal can hold that for you on your piano or your keyboard. So D, A, F sharp, back to A, and then we're going to go to D and then back down to A. So ba, 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 ba. Okay, we'll play hands together. We play together here. Left hand alone. Together here left together here and then just the A and we have now here the left hand's on a G up to D up to A back down to D back up to G back down to D and they're just straight eighth notes okay you play together here left left then together here and then together here and then just the left hand D there all right, so the first two boxes. Okay, and then we're going to have, and, and, and two, not too loud on the left hand, all right? Not too, too much pressure on the left hand notes. Now we have A, C sharp, and G together. Voice that top note, voice that G. We don't want to hear, we want to hear. Now bring out that G, A, C sharp, G. Keep working on that. B, D, G. C sharp E G. So we have three G's in a row. Bum, bum, bum. Then here I went. Bum, bum, bum. All right. So the key with a good arrangement is to stay mostly with what you uh, hear, or mostly what the hymn sounds like originally, and add a little bit of something else here and there. And that's what that's what I'm adding there. So we have E and G, and then F sharp E F sharp fast. Da da da. And then up high, I'm going to do a fill chord. So D, F sharp, and D up high. Roll it up. I got the arrow there. All right, left hand we have A. Here's middle C, so we're down here. Up to E. Change your pedal. B, up to G. Then change your pedal. C sharp, up to A. Hands together. So we go together, left, together, left, together, left. And then you voice that G. Then we're here. So here we're going to have 
D A D A D. Bum, 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 bum. Straight up, back down. So together there, and then left, and then these are fast. Da da dum. But on that third F, on that F sharp there, play it with the D on the left hand. So da da dum. Right there. So da da dum. And then left, and then. Actually, uh, this D can be a low D if you'd like. You can go kind of like it down there. It's up to you. All right, so let's uh, do the whole thing slowly now. Arrangements are, are real, will lend themselves well to that kind of a push and pull there with the, the tempo. Hope you enjoy it.